Hello YouTube. This is Sly88 Cry. So I decided to go against Chantal, the ghost trainer, last. I figured it'd probably be the hardest one for me out of uh, with the group I have. Because the only Pokemon I have that will be su super effective damage to all of our Pokemon takes super effective damage from all of our Pokemon. I don't believe this Pokemon's special defense is very high. So maybe I can take him out in one hit. Yes. Yes. Oh, critical. That might have had a lot to do with it, actually. This Pokemon I'm going against, I'm going to try uh, Seismitoad as the Pokemon I'm going against. It isn't just Ghost, but it's also a uh, ground type. Let's start off with an Aqua Ring. Heal some health. Ooh, curse. Maybe that Aqua Ring won't help so much. It'll, I mean, I guess I'll make the curse take a little longer to, to kill my Seismic Code. Oh, I think at this, uh, with the health it brought itself down to, Surf should finish it off. Yeah. And a critical, wow, another critical, that's amazing. Not like I needed it. I don't think I'm gonna have to bring back up my game run. Alright, uh, I told Shadow Ball takes out in one hit. I get the feeling it can, but there's a chance it might not. Uh oh. Oh no. Come on, Gengar, you have to live. Good. Very good. Finish it off. That's not very nice to kill my Shadow Ball. Plus less. It's okay. I'll bring up my Charizard to take out Frost Lights anyway. I think this should, this should be enough. Okay, well that's not gonna kill my Charizard, it will live. I think this move will do enough to take out the Frost Flash though. Good thing I replaced my uh, flame plate with leftovers. I should be getting some health back. Yeah. Not very much, but better than nothing. I'm not, I'm not sure my Shadow Ball is still disabled. Okay, good. It's still able to use it. Oh, I guess I just should just use that. <laughs> Took him out in one hit. Sound alert. Oh, better be safe than sorry. My Gengar's low on health. 
I'll bring out Size Mike Kelly. I'm hoping the Curse wore off. I don't know if the Curse remains when really switch out Pokemon. I don't know if the Aqua Ring remains either. I'm pretty confident Hydro Pump will take it out in one hit. But Shadow Ball is going to do some damage though. Oh no. Takes him out one hit, please. Come on, one hit kill. Oh man. Oh, well that's just dandy. Well, he does nothing. Of course. I mean, why wouldn't she? Oh no, it has a psychic move. Okay. Oh, you missed. I'm expecting it to use, like, some kind of psychic or ghost move, so... Yeah, it's gonna... I'm gonna do half damage. If my uh, Sky Dark can strike first, it helps uh, a whole bunch. Okay, well that's gonna take out my Sky Dark for sure. That's gonna be quadruple damage to it. I'm hoping my Sky Dark go first, but... Strategy did not work. Okay. Shadow Ball will probably not take it out in one hit, so let's start out with a Dream Eater. Hopefully it doesn't take it down to red health, because then it does show you another full score. You woke up immediately? Are you kidding me? Not cool. Yeah, I'll bring on your physical attacks, but all of its moves are special attacks, so. Alright, Toxic. That's right, my Star Raptor has that move. To badly poison the enemy, so that the damage they take per turn gradually gets higher. Gets higher every turn. Okay. Star Raptor certainly lacks some special defense, because that wasn't even super effective. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get Chandelure to waste a move on my Charizard. In the meantime, I'm going to fully revive my Gengar with a Revival Herb. I knew this trainer would be the hardest of the four. My counter to his to her Pokemon can be countered by her Pokemon as well, so that makes a pretty huge difference. It's quite a bit harder. Well, that's really the health, the Chandler's health has been brought down quite a bunch. And now I can use Shadow Ball. And it should finish it off for sure. Alright. That actually, uh, took some effort. That actually was getting pretty hard. 